All right, so here's how to install one of the pre-modded switch PCBs, which comes ready to go with whatever choice of switches you want. And then here's your Jeepro wireless stock broken that we're gonna take apart. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, but it's a lot of steps. So first thing is the feet. You're gonna wanna buy a set of replacement feet. And make sure to get underneath this, the screw holes should be completely visible. As far as feet go, I like Tiger Arc V1. You get two in a pack. They're like some of the cheapest feet, but they're super good in my experience. Here's what they look like. This is a double zero screwdriver magnetic tray. Just take out all four of these screws. And I figured I would do a voiceover for this, but it actually probably makes a lot more sense just to do this in real time so people can actually see what it's like to install one of these things. And then I guess I could talk a little bit about the process or the idea behind the switches. All right, so once all the screws are out, be very careful and to not rip the ribbon cable. So this, pull on the back and then pull on the front to get the, to clear the little USB and then very carefully open it in this orientation because this ribbon cable is very, very delicate right here. So just stick your finger, fingernail underneath the white part right here and it will flip up. So this just rotates 90 degrees, flips up very gentle, just pull it up and this comes out. And then this one you don't need to be as precious with, but still be careful. Just grab the white part and pull, and that will come right out. You can put this aside for now. And then you've got the base of the Jeepro Wireless. Also, I don't know if you ever, if anybody pays close enough attention, but I always group the screws in my magnetic parts tray by step, uh, and I always go clockwise. So it's very easy for me to figure out what, what goes where. So the next one is the battery, which is just one screw, which is a separate, it's a different screw than these ones, which is why it's put differently. So under here, you can just, batteries, it's just glued in. I don't really love the screwdriver for this, but so use a spudger if you have it, or like a plastic fork or something, plastic knife, battery, Leave the adhesive side up, make sure it doesn't get dirty. And then next set is the four screws to get the clicks out. So they're right here, one, two, three, four. So one thing also is like right in here, next to this screw is the magnets for the side buttons. So if you're not using a magnetic screwdriver, be careful in getting those out. And I'll show you a trick that you should do just so that you don't get your screw eaten by the side button and then you have to disassemble the entire mouse to get the screw back. So use a piece of plastic or something like this to block this hole. And then you can use the screwdriver to get the screw out. And there's no chance of it sticking. So you can, it actually got pulled into the magnet, which is fine. Try to, but you could just grab it with a screwdriver or something. 
If I wasn't blocking it with the spudger, it would have gotten sucked in and around and it, you have to disassemble the whole mouse to get it out. So again, just shove a piece of plastic or something right in the little gap so that the screw doesn't get caught. And then this one should come out. No problem, there we go. All right, then these come out, just pull the clip and then pull straight out. And that's that. And then we are in. So it's these two screws and then the four screws on the PCB and that's basically it. So these two, this thing I think holds the scroll wheel and tensions those little um, plastic, tensions the actual clicks. Not really sure what it does, but. So then these four. probably used to have that zoomed in. And again, all the screws are different sizes, so these are even smaller than the other ones. So just keep them together. If you have a magnetic parts tray, that's great. If you just have a magnet, that's fine. And the last thing here, so this is now out, but you need to disconnect that ribbon cable. The ribbon cable just goes back. So this clip, just slide it backwards, this direction. So I'm gonna use a spudger in my fingernail on opposite sides. So that just pulls back that way and then you're good. So this is the piece that once you take the scroll wheel out, wheel out, this is the piece that I'm selling with replaced switches. So you could take this, put this aside, and then take your modded piece from me, open this clip up here, and then put your scroll wheel in. Put this back in here. Put this in, slide in the ribbon cable, do those four screws, the piece of plastic, those two screws, the clicks, those four screws, the battery, that screw, the ribbon cable, battery cable, and then the seven screws on the bottom. So it's the exact same thing in reverse. Shouldn't take too long, sounds like a lot, but it's really straightforward. Just take your time and your G Pro wireless is basically fixed forever. So. Hopefully this helps just give you an idea of what it's like to install this and the process to get this done. All right, peace. And then the last thing I just wanna show here is how to put, once everything is packed together, how to put the ribbon cable back in. All right, so with this flap pulled up, just take this, That just slides in and you just press down and that's it. And the same thing with this here. Just press it in and you're good. And then just get that USB connector lined up, press the back, back of it in. That's it. Do the screws and you're good.